I know what that is, and I think you guys might know what that is. Um... Okay, everybody relax. This is no big deal. It's just, you know, freaking click clickety clickety. <laughs> All right. I need to relax for a second. Okay. That is some kind of aircraft carrier. I don't know why I put my scope down. It's like I'm cowering in fear of it. That guy's really close. Okay. There. That's an escort carrier without a bridge, so no, and it's not that either. <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. No. Well, is it? No. I don't think so. No. An Unryu. That is so Unryu. Like, it's completely Unryu. It's Ken. Captain Ken Masters, of course. Okay. It's not the time or the place for this. The bridge is too far in front, I believe. And I just don't think that the masts look quite right for that. No, because the mast is distinct from the superstructure of the, or the bridge there. Soryu. It could be the Soryu. Shokaku... You know what's persuading me that this is it is the cranes here. Right there. I have to look at the other masts though. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the big mast there. That's a good possibility. I don't think this was in existence yet, but could have been. No, I don't like the stack there. I don't, and the exhaust is definitely coming out of the side like a traditional Japanese carrier. Could be the hear you. I can hear you, and I can see you. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it! I can't tell for sure. I gotta wait until he gets a little bit closer. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to give it about five more minutes. And actually, you know what? I'm going to listen. Seems like about 70 degrees. I want to be able to keep a, or observe him without looking at him. I think I balls that up because I need to... Okay, he's at about 72. Let's just make sure this goes all the way down. Okay. And I need to get a little bit lower. Yes, sir! Deep breaths. Dying. Calm Dying. blue ocean. Is that really necessary, you guys? Not right now. <laughs> That's him there. He sounds like a big ship. He sounds like he's fueled by shovelfuls of souls dumped directly into his furnace. Really have to be careful with the time compression here. He's at 65 now. I would really be embarrassed if we got depth charged right now, too. Oh, 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 oh. Let's give him another look. Oh my god, okay. He's really close. We've probably got to take a shot here. Yes, sir. We have no excuse for not being able to ID him here, though. This would be sweet if it was it. Aaron, seven, one, long way. I'm not on the exhaust side of the ship. Uh, 
That's unfortunate because that's a good way to distinguish how it looks. The bridge is really close to the front of the ship. I think it might be the Shikaku. That's a huge ship. And the masts just look right. I'm locking that in. Ten it could be this, though. Fuck. No. Here's, here's what it is. These ships have a, like a pillar of some kind. They're supporting that. That ship does not. This is the Shokaku, for sure. I like that. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Why isn't it leaving that in? Okay. We've got to do this real quick, like. Okay, now, I, I, the thing with aircraft carriers is that their range is kind of funky. It's kind of difficult to find them because some of them, they're measured based on one of the masts in the back. Some of them are measured based on the top of the bridge. So I don't know if I'm going to get this in any way, shape, or form right. So I'm going to go with the top of the bridge here. And what's ridiculous is I already know the speed, so uh, that's kind of unfair, but war isn't fair, is it? He's about to click away, and he looks huge on the periscope, so um, his exhaust is right in the middle of the ship, too, and that's where that's coming from. Mother of God. Okay. Ten knots. That's a pretty close solution. I don't think I would take that regardless, just because it's a fleet carrier. Why would it be poking around at ten knots in the middle of the ocean? I'm doing thirteen. I, okay. What will I think of myself in the morning? I don't know. We'll see. Needless to say, we're going to be using all four torpedoes in this situation. Um, forgot to activate that. I hope that doesn't cause a problem. In fact, it could have just done right there. That's not right. I think I just balls that up. Um, I'm going to have to... No, he is moving away. That's perfect. That's it. We've got to do this. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know if I can even watch this. Can't tell if I'm hearing torpedoes or not. Current depth two zero. It's overdue. Son of a bitch. 
Wait a minute. Yes! Fuck you! <laughs> Holy shit. Damn right she is. Wow, I... Whew. Thank you for that. More of that. Do, do more. More explosions. <laughs> Passing thermal layer. Jesus. I don't know why I'm starting the timer. What am I doing? I wanted to close that. Well, I think it was worth the wait. If I had to put up with hours and hours of just sitting on my hands, not doing anything, waiting for the enemy to come to me, and this was my reward, I'll take it. I'll take that in a heartbeat. And amazingly, no duds. <laughs> oh, they're going to be very upset about this. Well, we didn't get any more secondaries after that, but the ship is gone. All, how many tons of that? 29,800 tons. I feel like I just won Wheel of Fortune. $29,800 or tons. That was really, really excellent. That makes me feel just all warm and fuzzy. All right. Well, we can't get too happy about this. We have to um, consider our defensive situation. There are plenty of escorts in this uh, fleet. Um, have us going. Looks like I have us going northwest. I think I intend to keep us on that course because, uh, as before, there were some pretty zany hijinks, and I'm hoping to repeat that. Man, I'm I'm, I'm not shaking, but I, I feel like. I'm about to explode or something, much like that ship just did. <sighs> okay. Did it? Was that actually what that was? Shokaku fleet carrier. Well, that's. I don't know if that corrects it or not, but. That's insane. Wow, okay. There's no pinging. That's good. Uh, I'm going to focus on staying alive right now, and wow, and just revel in this for a little bit, and as always, if there's any depth charging, I'll let you guys know, but I think um, based on the conditions, we might be, I hate to say it, we might be home free. Wow, okay. Let's stay alive. It's been about four hours uh, since the attack. I guess a little bit less than that. Three and a half hours or so. And I'm just coming up to the surface. We got no pinging, which kind of annoys me. Uh, <laughs> you'd think that they'd be a little bit peeved that um, we sank a fleet carrier. But um, they didn't ping us. And now we're just chilling up here at periscope depth. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find any lingering destroyers. I don't think I've heard any. That's us. Ah. Now, that could be the Shokaku, actually. 
let's look at 110. See if there's a plume of smoke or anything like that in the area. No. The game tends to leave a phantom contact, I guess, for the... Yeah, that would be actually exactly it. 110 to 120 is right about there. That's the Shokaku. Um, the game tends to leave a phantom contact, though, for ships that you sink, and it's kind of obnoxious, but... Um, I think we're yes, in the sir. clear. Surface the boat. So I'm putting us on the surface. Yes, sir. But again, we didn't get pinged, and that... I, I hope that the game isn't in some way broken, because <laughs> that's unbelievable. Like... Ship spotted. Bearing. Eight. Seven. Long range. Eight. Seven. What you talking about, Willis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sometimes the game also queues up sounds, which is slightly annoying. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I just find it impossible to believe that there wouldn't have been a more concerted search. I mean, they could have been doing all they could. Um, I didn't really notice that many destroyers in that uh, task force. So, I mean, it's entirely possible that they weren't really able to hunt me that well. Um, I guess that sucks for them. <laughs> they didn't have enough anti-submarine warfare capabilities to really deal with a sub like mine. But really, is there a fleet in the world with enough anti-submarine warfare capabilities to deal with a sub like mine? I thought not. Okay, I really shouldn't get so cocky because as soon as I do that, a plane's going to come out of the sky and kill me unceremoniously. As you can see, I've already taken the presumptuous step of laying in a course to go back to Surabaya. It is February 11th. Um, there's going to be some complications here by the time we get into that area. Yes, Let's actually yes, consult our uh, crew here and see how soon it's going to be until we're... Yeah, 10 days. So we might by then be ordered to rebase in Fremantle. Um, we'll see about that. But, man, I'm still buzzing off of that attack. That was... That was exactly what I needed. <laughs> oh, man. But, again, disappointed that there was no significant attempt to kill us. So, you take the good with the bad. And I think I got a lot of good for very little bad out of that. Um, we're going to continue onwards uh, through the... Karamata Strait. Um, I'm not going to pursue the task force because they probably are pursuing, or proceeding rather, at um, 13 knots. We're not going to be able to make that kind of speed, and they have a significant head start on us. Um, with that said, they are one carrier down, so I don't feel too bad about that. So, we're going to continue on towards home. I stepped away for a minute to kind of collect my thoughts and get an idea of what I should actually do, because it occurred to me that just going home doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. We have quite a bit of fuel left. We have uh, definitely enough to get home. I was mistaken earlier when I was worried about or worried about the amount of time that it was going to take us because we were only going four knots. Um, as it stands, we have about 109 hours. That's significantly less, wouldn't you know? And our maximum range is 6,787 at a head standard, which would probably, I believe, that's just as the crow flies, but that definitely is enough for us to get back to Darwin, at least, if we end up having to bug out of Surabaya. So I realized something that, I mean, I, I don't have any reason to go home yet. Um, I don't know why I was talking that way. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if this is going to work really, but I'm going to send a status report, and... Okay. Proceed to a position 300 nautical miles northeast of the Singapore. <laughs> Not just Singa any Singapore, the Singapore. And conduct anti-shipping operations along the Japanese-Singapore shipping lanes. I can do that. That's not too far away. So, how about we do that? How about it, you guys? What am I doing? Set the flag there. Let's move it real quick just so that I don't overtake it. And we'll just head up there and 
gallivant around. I think it was 100 nautical miles. Which, again, I still <laughs> haven't bothered to remember the conversion. We really will have quite a bit of room to work with, though. Okay. Now, at this point, uh, Singapore, I believe, has been invaded. I think it gets invaded on the 8th, and it changes hands on the 15th or the 16th or something like that. So, uh, it's not going to be friendly for much longer. Uh, and then Surabaya is coming up next, so we'll see how that goes. But again, uh, even with this little diversion, I think we'll have plenty of uh, fuel left to cause some havoc. Or, not cause some havoc. We always have fuel enough to cause some havoc, but we'll be able to go home <laughs> after causing said havoc. So I'm going to lay in a little bit of a patrol grid here. Um, we're going kind of slow because we're turning, I guess. Let's wait until that's done. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Looks pretty sharp. To start with, at least. And we'll see what happens up in this area.